In this series, you're going to be learning about ChatGPT prompt engineering, and this will help you to write effective and useful prompts. And this is our part 7 video inside of this series. So as a quick introduction, if you're new, throughout this series we're going to be learning the following topics. So the first one is how to guide ChatGPT to think. The second one is the iterative prompt development. The third one is inferring slash summarizing text. The fourth one is transforming text. The fifth one is expanding text. And finally sixth, you're going to learn how you can even create your own chatbot. So as a summary, this is what we're going to be doing throughout this whole entire series. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the guide ChatGPT to think section. And inside of this section, you're going to learn two key principles of prompting and how you can apply them using ChatGPT. And since there are many ideas inside of this section, that's why we broke this uh, section down into multiple different parts. So, so far we have already six videos recorded and those were for this section, Guide ChatGPT to Think. And this part seven video is the last video for the section. And in our next video, we're going to mo be moving on into the next section. So principle two is to give the model time to think. And in our part six video, we learned about specify the steps required to complete a task. So if you're interested, you can go watch that video as well. But for today's video, we're gonna be going over how you can instruct the model to work out its own solution before rushing into any conclusions. And we do this because sometimes ChatGPT can also get some math questions wrong. And this is where you need to instruct the model to work out a solution before it can actually run and jump into a conclusion. And let's just test this out with ChatGPT and see how this actually works. So now we're inside of ChatGPT and basically the prompt that we're gonna be using is this one here. So we're writing here, determine if the student's solution is correct or not. And here's the question. So I'm building a solar panel installation and I need help working out the financials. So the first one is, the land costs $100 per square foot. The second one is, I can buy solar panels for $250 per square foot. And I negotiated a contract for a maintenance that will cost me a flat $100,000 per year and additional $10 for every single square feet. So what is the total cost for the year of operation as a function of the number of square feet? And this is the student solution. So let x be the size of the installation in square feet. And then the cost would be number one, which is the land cost, which is 100x. And that's true because uh, per square feet, we're paying $100. So land cost is 100x. Solar panels, 250x. The maintenance cost would be 100,000 plus 10x. So this all is correct. But then here, the student's total cost is incorrect. Here we're saying that it's 100x plus 250x plus 100,000 so starting from here is where we have the problem. So this is actually not supposed to be 100x. If we go up here, you can see that it says a flat 100,000 per year and additional $10 per every square feet. So this, instead of 100x, it should actually be equal to 10x instead of that. So the total cost here is wrong because it should be plus 10x here and it should be equal to 360x here. So what we're trying to do is send this to ChatGPT and let's see if ChatGPT says if this solution is correct or incorrect. And here we can see that ChatGPT says that the student's solution appears to be correct. And that is actually not the case here since this is obviously wrong. So furthermore, what ChatGPT says is it actually gives us some of the answers. So like how it broke it down, the same that we did. And here you can see that it actually does give us the correct 360x here. But for some reason, it wasn't able to see this part and see that we have 450x. It still gave us the right answer of 360x, but it didn't tell us if the student was wrong. And this is because ChatGPT, if you don't give it proper instructions, ChatGPT will just skim through the whole thing and then just spit out an answer. So even though it's correct, it said that the student solution appears to be correct. So this is incorrect, but it says that it was correct. So let's just modify this prompt so that ChatGPT actually does the work itself. And then after it's done the work, then it compares with the student's result. So let's just bring out our new prompt to solve this. So for our new prompt, we're gonna do the same thing. Your task is to determine if the student solution is correct or not, and to solve the problem, do the following. So we're at telling it some steps to do before it actually solves out. So the first step is to work out your own solution to the problem, and then once you're done that, then compare your solution to the student's solution and evaluate if the student's solution is correct or not. 
So in this case, we're first making ChatGPT work out a solution. And then after that, we're comparing the result that ChatGPT got to the student solution. And don't decide if the student solution is correct until you've actually done the problem yourself. And then here we're just giving a format of how we can do it. So the first step is to write the question. So just write the question there and then the student solution. So whatever the student solution was and then the actual solution, which is to put your own steps and work out the solution here. And then after that, write is the student solution the same as the actual solution just calculated, then write yes or no. And based on whatever this is, yes or no, then write if it's correct or incorrect. And here we have the same question as above. So now let's just see if ChatGPT will actually work it out by itself and then compare the answers and tell us if the student is actually wrong. So let's just submit this and see what we get. So immediately here you can see that ChatGPT is starting to work out the solution. So before it immediately gave us that the student was correct, it appears to be correct, but now this time it's working out the solution. So it said that the land cost is 100x, the solar panel cost is 250x, and the maintenance is 100,000 plus 10x. And then it said adding this together, we get the total cost for the year of operation, which is 100x plus 250x plus 100,000 plus 10x. And, and here you can see that the solution is actually correct, which is 360x plus 100,000. And this 10x is also correct too. So now is the student's solution the same as the actual solution just calculated? And then ChatGPT said it's not. So if it's correct or not, and the student is incorrect. And here it says why. So the student made a small mistake in the final equation, writing 450x plus 100,000 instead of the correct 360x plus 100,000. So this is exactly what we wanted. And you can see that ChatGPT understood that the student did something wrong and actually worked the solution out first. Then it said that it compared. So if it said that it wasn't the same, and then it said that it was incorrect. And it even told us why. So you can see here that if you give ChatGPT some more information on how to do something, then it'll actually give you the right answer and you're not, you don't have to worry about being wrong. And then in our next video, we're gonna start the next section called Iterative Prompt Development.